Welcome back to the Online Education Success Series of the Explorations Learning Network. I'm so happy to see you again because today we're going to be talking about what everybody needs more of, time for online learning. Hi, I'm Avi Anderson and this is the Explorations Learning Network. Because technology is making life so much easier, many people are under the impression that online learning is quick and easy. Don't confuse convenience with expedience. It's easy to get online, but many students believe it takes more time to complete an online class. Some students make the mistake of signing up for too many classes, all at the same time, not even thinking about the other stuff that's going on in their life, like sleeping, <laughs> working, feeding the kids, going shopping, sleeping, doing the laundry, girls night out, sleeping, vacation, putting the kids to bed, um, taking regular classes, sleeping. Did I say sleeping? Sleeping. It's good to know how much time you have to dedicate to your online education. You should understand that for each standard level online college course, you'll be spending anywhere between 4 and 15 hours per week engaged in studying and other activities. You may want to do an inventory of all the things you do in your life, add up the hours and see how much free time you can commit to an online class. To ensure that students succeed, some colleges and universities will only allow students to take one or two online classes at the same time. Almost every educator would agree that the number one skill an online student should master is time management. Good time management includes planning, prioritizing, and consistency. Basically, plot your course, stick to it, and keep a regular schedule. Which brings us to the number one thing that can destroy your success in an online class. Da, da, da. <laughs> Procrastination is bad. Don't use the P word. We don't use the P word here. Okay, let's move on. You will want to avoid distraction by creating a space for learning. Having a space of your own when you're in class is critical. This can be that nice comfy chair at your favorite coffee shop or a quiet table at the local library. Be comfortable, but not too comfortable. You do want to enjoy the time you're spending at the computer. Ergonomics is important, but if you lay down on your laptop, you run the risk of waking up with keyboard face. That's not attractive on anybody. You may want to begin your online education slowly. Start with one class so that you can get comfortable with being an online student. Remember the saying, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Until next time. <laughs> the Explorations Learning Network is a production of Clark College and is sponsored through generous donations and the support of students and faculty. Mark Gaither is our producer and director, and this episode was sponsored through a Department of Labor grant administered by the Washington State Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board. The Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board is a partnership of labor, business, and government dedicated to helping Washington residents obtain and succeed in family wage jobs while meeting employers' needs for skilled workers. I'm Aviance Anderson for the Explorations Learning Network, advancing learning for the information age. <laughs>